Greetings everyone, Grey Fox 13 Lord and Master of Quest Sandy, welcome to today's episode of Portal. Last time I said if I drag it out it doesn't quite sound quite as long, which was a little bit of a fudge up, I meant it doesn't sound quite as short. But okay, we are down here. You all remember this place? Perhaps? Help? Water? Beans? Generic brands? <laughs> I turn on the volume a bit, there you go. And I still got my computer, which I'm stealing right now. Also, I have no idea where I'm going, but this is kind of option. Whoa, 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 no, 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 ah. Eh. Whoa. Guess who just got trapped? Oh, snip. Deploying, okay. Just don't shoot my PC, okay? Oh, God. Yes, I am. Thanks for asking. Whoa. Don't get killed. The turrets are friendly. They're friendly. Put me down, Tylost. Yep. Well, how do you like it? Calm down, gosh. These these things have a total heart attack. Oh, have a total heart attack once they're picked up. It's it's almost cute, but it's also okay. Oops. I put him down a little bit too hard. I hear the radio. There's handprints on this, and they say this is the direction I have to go. Actually, what? Is that so? If you say so, I'm just going to blindly believe you and try and find a way up there. Oh, maybe I have to use barrels to climb. Or maybe I have to use one of my super jump things. I hear something. It's kind of confusing me. But okay. I have to go up there somehow. Nope, I'm the worst. Ah, over there. Don't end up here. I know. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, wait, I meant no, I can't. But yes, here's my computer. Oops, oops. Oh, did you see I almost fell? Oh, God. I just. Oh, I'm right. I jumped onto it. Wow, just. Let's just power bomb the PC, right? It's not like we need it anymore. Ark. Yeah, yeah. Just for the notes, kids, do not treat your hardware this way. Do not drop your hardware on the ground repeatedly, do not toss it, and especially do not use it to deflect bullets. Oh, and don't smash it against battle droids. Oh, schnapp. In general, treat your hardware with love and care, and we'll treat you with love and care back. If you want your computer to outlive you, don't worry, the machines are taking over soon anyway, so your computer is most likely going to outlive you. But what I mean is, if you care about your computer, treat it with love and care. And affection. Give it a kiss every now and then. Buy your computer some flowers, you know. Even a computer wants to feel, be wants to have signs of affection every now and then. Just wants to know that you'll still love it after all. Ah, don't power bomb it against the in the ground, the ground. That's one of the most important aspects. But yes, every now and then, just hug it close, give it a tender kiss upon the hard drive, and or at least the disk drive. You know, maybe hard drive is going a bit too far. They kind of direct sensible, but the times when you go with that. Oh, wait, what is this? But yeah, generally, just give it a tender kiss on the disk drive and tell it how much you love it. It's going to thank you for years. It's going to provide great service to you. And I just solved the puzzle while talking about affection to computers. I think I solved it, but let's jump. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Come with me. Okay, where am I? Oh, right. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's more droids, half assembled droids, which don't do anything. It's pretty static. Okay. One of the fence is broken. Well, there's lots of... St Who drew these things? That means somebody already escaped before me. What do they even need me for? Smash the computer against the ground. Jump onto the droid. Okay, open up. Uh, what does it say? Over here. You better... N you better not have shut... Okay, you don't blame me. Okay, that's good that you don't blame me, but... You may have... Ah, you may have shut a hole into my PC, so... No, it looks okay. Okay. I will forgive you because you did not break my PC. If anything broke my PC, it was myself. Ah. 
Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, PC. We, we we can make it out of here. We will make it out of here, and then I can. I don't even know your power. I'm going to I'm going to check your CPU and stuff like that. I don't know. Then I'm going to play something. I don't know. I could play Portal probably on this thing. I mean, it's future tech. It might look not look like much, but it probably it's much more powerful than anything we have right now. Oh, there's new PCs. Ha. Huh. You know what? I'm going to take one of the new PCs because this one. I smashed it all over the place, so I want actually working hardware. While it was a nice trip review, I want actually working hardware, and I think the chances of this one working after all the smashing and throwing is rather slim. The cake is light, the cake is light, yeah, yeah, that's nice for you. Tasty. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen times, oh god, there's even more. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 18 again. 36 times 5. Okay. So, <clears throat> 180 or so. Yeah, 180 somethings. I don't know what they were counting there, so... I was gonna take some beans. Oh, empty. Empty. Oh, there's one open. Nom nom nom. Which one do I take? I think I'll take this one. Kind of looks... Uh, Smash it against the ground. But yes, I got a new PC. One that is less beaten up. Over here. And I have to go where? Okay, this is a hideout. Is there anything going up from here? No? Oh, wait, there is a... Okay, no, the, vent the sh ventilation shaft is not where I'm supposed to be going. Okay. But yeah, probably have to go up here somewhere. Ouch. No. Okay, I can go if I go over here. And let's see, possibly I can place something out there. No, nothing. There maybe? Come on. Give me something. Okay. That looks promising. That looks very promising indeed. I'm afraid about my computer. Something tells me that he's not going to make the transition. Oh, I, sh I should never do things like this. Whoa. Okay, so this worked. Now I just have to get my computer over there without... Okay, sorry sweetie, I hope you can take a punch. Oh, oh, That hurt, that hurt. That physically hurt. Okay, I'm hold holding it up and jumping down it. Oh god, what just happened? Oh. <laughs> I'm doing horrible, horrible, horrible things to this piece of hardware right now. Like, seriously, this is just... Oh god, I don't think this one's working. I think I think I'm going to take the next one and um, try to be <laughs> less beam. Oh god, I, I totally smashed this thing against everything I encountered. Yikes. Okay, so um, maybe I should take some beans because I don't think I can break a break a can of beans apart. Kind of, so I can break a computer. Ouch. But okay. Um, oh, with more care, jump down, and. Oh, I st oh, yeah, well, I take a beat, but, but it wasn't quite this smashed up, so I think it might still be working. Oh, good. I know! If I had been... It's louder in here. Oh my god, look at this. Those bastards ate my cake. Of course I do. It's my, it's my freaking cake. Okay, um, let's see what do these pets say. Oh yeah, right, this is the, these are the, the pets I already saw, the little images I already saw. Let's see, failed. It's not me. Because look, oh, number 24, subject number 24. That's a nerdy reference right there. Good job, guys. Um, alright, which one do I take? I think I'll take go with this one. Number 3. Uh, no, now, I, now that I smashed it up, I'm going to take another one. Number two. Come with me. Are you kidding me? I guess uh, that means I'm not taking one of these computers with me. Well, farewell. That sucks a bit. But yeah, I'm sure we'll get OC right away. There's right, right next one. So yeah, I'm going to not not going to leave this place without a computer. I'm serious about this. I want this a visit to pay off somehow. Okay, what can I do with this button? Okay, there's a 
Robot eye. What? Oh, robot turret eye, okay. Rocket loading rocket. Oh, God. You don't have to shoot rockets at me, you know. I can speak. I can speak, yeah, that's... Wow, that's a horrible delay you got there, you know that? Can I actually destroy this thing? <laughs> wow. Okay, so it can't actually destroy itself. That's quite a lot of laser beams. But yeah, it, it cannot destroy itself. Which is handy. And do not shoot at my computers, I'm going to quickly run, grab one of the PCs from the top shelf, and make a, make a, make a run for it. Okay. Okay, it's, 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 it's good that I'm in the research facility, because that means there's com new computers on every corner and every edge. Every corner and every edge, yeah. Around every corner there's a new computer, which makes things that much easier. Okay, so even in case you're wondering what I have to do, I, I just learned that I can break the glass. I also learned that I can redirect rockets uh, thanks to portals, so... Up to up. Hello, buddy. Kapow! That was not the best placement I could have picked, honestly. But yes, um... How did the drawing get over there? How did they make it literally while breaking the glass? Okay. Okay, so this is an important section of the game. Because here, the very first time I played, usually I had like a sort of emergency lighting. I couldn't at least see something. But here, right here, I was completely blind. This was pitch, pitch, pitch black. Absolutely black. Night. Absolutely night blind. Blind person in the night. On a night planet without the sun. Kind of bl dark. Pitch black. I couldn't see. I couldn't even see this shaft. I didn't know there was anything going up here. I couldn't see this place. So, and then eventually I was forced to actually look up how to continue. And people told me, uh, I was saw that I read it, that there was this pa passage up here and everything was good. So the question is, of course, how do I get up there? Because obviously I cannot jump up there. And people were pretty intelligent. They said, oh, right. You gotta go to the, back to the office. Gotta go back to the office and grab a chair. That's what you gotta do. You gotta go back and grab a chair. Right? Sounds plausible, because then you can take the chair, and you can move over there, and you place it before the venting shaft, and then you kind of jump on it, and kind of awkwardly, it's kind of difficult, you gotta few, try a few times and stuff, you gotta rotate it a bit, and ta-da, you suddenly sort of get in there. Okay. Sometimes quicker, sometimes fa uh, slower, because I'm pretty good at friendly up, but pretty fast. And when I saw that, I was like, guys, are you fucking retarded? We just learned that rockets break glass. There is a freaking transport pipe. Why in God's name would you suggest anyone to pick up a chair? You just drop a portal, place it down there, and ta-da! Whoops. It is advisable to not drop, lose the cube to the turret. And ta-da, you got... You got yourself the is one of these cubes and can climb up there. Is it really that difficult? <sighs> of course, by now, uh, pretty much everyone knows it, but back then, the game was pretty much new and recent, and I just thought, what the frick is wrong with people who actually believe that this was the solution? Okay, there's a fan. I'll try not to kill myself here. Or my PC, for that matter. I gotta carefully go back to not smash the computer, because, as mentioned, I don't want to leave this place empty-handed. Oh, okay. Okay, we are under the fan. We'll I hear what? Oh, no. This is one awkward passage. Gotta be careful not to drop my PC into these uh, sewage. Thanks. Okay, loading screen. For a second, I thought my game crashed, but it's just a loading screen. Whew. That would have been scary as freaking well. Okay, it's the loading screen of. Okay, good. Loading is over. Let's continue onwards. Okay. Uh -huh. Careful not to bash the computer against anything, and we continue. Upwards, they say. Can do, I say. Or. Yes, I can. Yes, we can. 
And we don't want to forget our computer. Okay, what the frick? Ew. Just ew. Simply ew. Can I climb up where anywhere would I have actually to, you know, place my PC down and... Oh, there's the radio. Not that I really care at this point anymore. But... Oh, I can't... I can't jump. I can't jump, which means that... Oh... Uh, wait. Maybe I can... Oh, right, this is perfect, this is perfect, this is great. I can place it down here for a second without making it dirty. That was perfect. Thanks. Okay. What the frick just... Okay, you hide out here. Okay, and now we have to survive this ambush. Well, ambush of the stationary drones. Put me down. I just... I seriously just... I seriously just got ambushed by stationary drones. This is kind of awkward. I mean, at least I'm not part of a combat unit, so I guess it's kind of justifiable. But if I was part of a combat unit, I would be freaking embarrassed right now. Can you imagine that? Things that don't even move getting a jump on you. Oh, there's the computer. Please put me down. Okay, you're the last of your kind, I believe. Yes. I am the Grim Weeper. Okay. I think I got rid of all of them. So let's pick this one up. You stayed in hiding perfectly well. You're like the best companion I've had in a while. No matter how bad the fight got, you stayed in your hiding spot and did not endanger yourself in the mission. That's good. I wish some NPCs would take a slice of your personality. So many NPCs that just risk their lives. Aren't you, aren't you annoyed by that as well? You just casually play your game and suddenly your NPC decides, Oh hey, I can dodge balls with my head. Why do I say always say dodge? No wait, in the other series I meant to say block and I said dodge. I meant to say block and I said dodge. I meant to say dodge and I said block. See, I'm doing it again. I don't know why, but for me it's incredibly difficult to keep dodged and blocked lined up. But yeah. Oh no, there's still one alive. But yeah, NPCs that suddenly decide, ooh, I can block bullets with my head. Which is rarely what you want them to do. Unless, of course, you don't really care about them. Because they are not integral to the story. In which case, it might be very hilarious. Gotcha. Ah, frick. That's good that you don't hate me. I don't hate you either. Okay, I can see that there is... Oh, Schmidt. I have to somehow... Hmm. You see this? This is not a good sign, because it means I have to, like, do one of these, and one of these, and one of... Ta-da! And then I have to go wee, and wee, and... Oh, God. Sorry, computer, but I cannot take you any with me anymore, because I have to do some awkward jumps. But if I if I can place a pole up, in the, up there, I'm going to come back for you, okay? Whoa, what just happened? Where the f am I? Okay. I jump down, then I jump down, and then I jump down, and I jump down, and I jump down, and I jump up. I jump down, oh, and I break things. Okay, and I jump down. I'd say close enough, right? That should be good enough to get through. Okay, where is my PC again? There you are. Okay. And I made it. And I managed to take the computer with me. That's perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. You stay here. You stay in cover. I rush them. Whoa, kamikaze! <laughs> well, this worked roughly as well as I expected it to, to be honest. Ah, fake. They spawned me by hurting my computer. They totally did this on purpose. Okay, you stay here. Okay, 
Okay. Get rid of them. You come with me again. Just so you know, the next computer I find is going to be replacing you because you already got a few bumps. No, oh, Schmidt. Something tells me that I have to do it like this. I have to place down one portal here and one down there. Ta-da, jump up. What's awkward about this means I have to go and pick my computer up again. And jump again, and this is kind of awkward. But we are not leaving this place without a computer. Okay, there we are. We can hear the wind, that's always kind of fancy. Ouch. Well, I just drop it. It's not like you were caring about this thing. I'm, I'm actually pretty amazed that I didn't use it to, to block bullets so far. That's quite an accomplishment for me. Okay, ouch. Oh, oh that one hurt. <laughs> oh, technology abuse hurts. My, oh, oh. Sorry, my moans of agony. Okay, this thing is totally going to break. I mean, if I have learned one thing in games, then these things always break. It's not breaking, something is wrong. Probably one of the other ones will break, no? Huh. Interesting, nothing in this game breaks. But anyway, the series, the episode is coming to an end, I'd say. If I find a room with more computers now, I know exactly where I'm going to end the episode, but for now... Okay, projections, Black Mesa. Dollars and cents. Complete wealth of Black Mesa for DoD and government what? What is Black Mesa? 2.59% of all DoD contracts. 10 billion federal dollars annually. 12% from full open competition. 88% of no birth exclude source bids. Not bound by government performance and resource acts. Okay. Next uh, slide, but, uh, please. Five view review GSA schedule. Black Mesa and average. Oh yeah, we beat them. Wait, do I work here? I'm just assuming that I work here, so yes, we beat them. Next one. Come on, somebody, progress it. Oh god. A case in a generic life from disk operating system. Defense logistic agency solicit bits for development of fuel system and there. Black means are black. Oh god, you know what? I don't I don't give crap about this. I'm not even going to pretend that I care about these. This, that's where the eckheads up in the upper floors. Okay, there's more chairs here. Uh, buttons. There's a lot of buzzing going on because of my gun in my head. Hand on. Well, I can't take the gun with me, but hey. Well, you found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Definitely. But despite your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Aww. Maybe you could settle for that and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. Should do. This path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Time out for a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you see that thing that fell out of me? What is that? It's not the surprise. I've never seen it before. I think it's surprising. It's never mine now. It's a mystery I'll solve later. By myself. Because you'll be dead. Where are you taking that thing? I don't know actually. I'm just taking it for a hitch. There's a button. Ooh. My guess is that touching it will just make your life even worse somehow. I know it. It's purple. Purple things always make things worse. Huh. I don't want to tell you your business, but if it were me, I'd leave that thing alone. Could place a portal above this hole. Oh, that's re revenge time for. To trick you with reverse psychology. I mean, seriously now. Yes, I do. And now comes revenge for white and companion cube. Okay, fine. Do touch it. Pick it up and just stuff it back into me. Can I do that actually? Can I actually do that? Let's be honest. Neither one of us knows what that thing does. Just put it in one second. And I'll deal with it later. We are in a round room, there are no corners. You should at least know the area you are operating in. Mmm, yeah, raw sewage. Hey, I can't attach it back to you. But you know what, guys? Actually, this is the boss fight and stuff, so... Oh, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> oh, wow, that was sudden, that was... But yeah. <laughs> but yes, um, I'm going to save because this episode is long enough and the next episode is going to be purely the fight against Gladys. And if it's just 10 minutes long, it's just 10 minutes long. You think it's Okay. Because now I'm saving the game. And we are finishing the episode. 
And the next episode is going to be the very, very finishing fight against GLaDOS. Hooray! I know, you were expecting me to fight it now, but it sucks to be you, cliffhanger. Mwahaha. <laughs> but okay. That means if you like this episode, subscribe. And if you want to know how the episode, how the series ends, you better subscribe as well, because then you will be notified when the last episode comes up. Hooray! If you like this episode, and if you like my attachment to the computer, which I ultimately was not able to retrieve, I guess in the end there is no five finger discount for me. <laughs> Sucks. But okay. If you enjoyed it, share it, like it, subscribe it. And ultimately Twitter it if you feel like it, because I don't really use Twitter, so I don't really know much about it, but it's up for you, up for the grabs, up for your decision. And this name, Grey Fox 13, Lord and Master of the Quest 90, signing out.